Hello. The main reason why I'm doing this video is because I have uh, learned several disturbing trends uh, of a particular religious group, and I don't want to uh, take time to be boring y'all. I want to read a, f a few uh, sources that I've got of a couple of uh, things. And it's because I want you to understand what's going on with the Church of Scientology. Now, first one I am going to actually read is from the North American Missions Board, excuse me, of the Southern Baptist Convention. Now, here's uh, essentially how they're defining uh, Scientology. Now, we're going to go into the history of Scientology according to the North American Mystery Mission Report, and it, this is what the text. Lafayette Ronald Hubbard was born in Nebraska in 1911. He spent most of his childhood on his grandfather's Montana Ranch while his parents served overseas in the U.S. Navy. Hubbard later stated that visits with his parents to Asia in the 1920s introduced him to Eastern philosophies and religions. As a young man, Hubbard developed a career as a science fiction author, or writer, excuse me, and claimed to have explored the world. He also claimed that he received near fatal wounds in World War II. While recovering, he formulated his no psychologi novel psychological theories that were revealed in his 1950 book Dianetics, The Modern Science of Mental Health. In 1954, Hubbard incorporated the Church of Scientology to promote his ideas using a religious facade. His books and his ch his books and church spread worldwide, but Hubbard became a recluse. He spent most of his last years aboard his yacht, being waited on hand and foot. He died inauspiciously in 1985, 86, excuse me. Now, I wanted to do, give you that for one very clear reason. It shows there's a mental de uh, degradation just on the history alone of the founder, which indicates that um, maybe the uh, thoughts and ideas of the religion isn't beneficial. But uh, then there is so many... Um, words that I would actually uh, say um, almost sound uh, science fiction authorship oriented. Um, the analytical mind is uh, it's not that bad to, of a of a title for a term. It's when you get to the um, definition that it gets a little skewed on that one. The conscious, rational, and problems are in part of one's mind. Auditing Scientology's personal counseling using Dianetics techniques utilizing an e-meter for reading engrams. Right off the bat, you're introduced to another uh, word that can mean many different things to many different people. And to the average person, that makes no sense, uh, the last word, without knowing it's um, according to Scientology's definition. So now we're going to go to what Engram says. The unconscious mental image recorded in the reactive mind that has negative effects on a person's life.
this is a good time to uh, understand what's going on. It's it's kind of twisting where the real professionals would do uh, psych psychologists would do versus this out there thing. And, to be honest with you, an e-meter is just a bunch of uh, BS. It's tin cans in your hand and, and, and a little, uh, and a, and a little uh, uh, stick meter uh, console. Very basic. Doesn't mean delay squat. But I want to tell you a little story. And this is a little story about my college, uh, my associate degree uh, level uh, college experience. I, I decided to take a class uh, called World Religions. And one of the first questions ever asked in that cl class was, what do you classify Scientology. And the professor point blank says an occult. A cult. You can imagine what most of us are thinking when an academic uh, level, uh, an academic point blank says that about Scientology. That's a really good indicator. Now, you may not be aware, but there's been several lawsuits that required several different kinds of legal briefs with the Church of Scientology. Now, re remember, I'm saying all of this is probably old, but uh, there's a lawsuit, um, I believe, brought by Laura de Crenzo's, de Crenzo? I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right, uh, in uh, Los Angeles Sur uh, Superior Court. And Scientology is uh, pushing for a motion of summary judgment. But here's where the fun parts part hits. There's a National Council of Churches, but the most influential member in our nation of that group when they're contacted this is their response about it thank you for your email regarding the filing of an amicus brief in the pending legal case you referred to upon the receipt of your email I immediately looked into the matter and from that review I have confirmed that no one working at the Episcopal Church headquarters had any knowledge of the NCC's decision to sign on to the amicus brief. We have contacted the NCC staff today to express our disapproval of the NCC's stance in this regard and will also be following up to do what we can to make sure no, that no similar situation occurs in the future. We appreciate you bringing this to our attention. Paul Nix, Legal Counsel, Office of the Presiding Bishop, the Episcopal Church. When you have a liberal, progressive church that badly wanting to get out of it, there's an issue with that rel other religion because that is not the usual. That's not the Episcopal Church's usual language. The Episcopal Church's usual language on uh, issues like that is very soft language. It's not direct. And it's not hardline. 
but this you see is extremely hard line. So we have that. And then you have some with my my education being in office administration, like how to deal with the uh, office environment and so forth. There's an issue that I have with the way uh, what I can see is the structuring of the Church of Scientology. And a lot of people, when they see me talk about this on my chairman president situation of a thing. They, they bring in the Pope as an example of something similar. But here's the problem. David Miscavige pushed his way into that position. Um, he did not get selected by a council of cardinals. That is what happens every single time a pope is selected to lead the Roman Catholic Church. So they still have a level of accountability to a lower group. That is not the case with David Miscavige. So no matter what he puts out, there is a question. Is it really something that we really should uh, consider uh, as a normative uh, thing? Or is there other potential issues that are occurring? I did not try to do this video because I felt one of the grandstand about things. But don't get caught up in a religious um, group without doing your homework. A lot of that religious groups that you can get sucked into just by emotion are really bad ideas to get into to begin with. A lot of them don't want you uh, in a secular um, education at all. Some of them don't even want you to go through regular high school level education. And from what I understand, Scientology is one of those, which kind of is puzzling a little bit for, for a religion that claims to be sophisticated like they do, that they don't want um, good quality high school education. Um, then there's um, people on the other end of the spectrum that actually push for you to get higher education. Religious groups. And here's where it gets weird. You know that Episcopal church that I just uh, wrote? Uh, read, excuse me, read? They actually push for you to go further in your education. They want you to do that. And in fact, they even have their own colleges uh, that work with other secular uh, colleges and universities to uh, actually push uh, more uh, education initiatives. So, I don't want you to um, think I'm a um, I'm just attacking Scientology without merit. These concerns do affect day-to-day -day operations of the church. Now I will be also giving you some organizations associated with Scientology um, Some names right now. App Applied Scholastics Association for Better Living and Education. Citizens Commission on Human Rights. Concerned Businessmen's Association of America. This one should be a very big dead giveaway. It's uh, Scientology. The Hubbard Dianetics Foundation International. 
this next one you definitely need to um, write down Narconon or uh, Criminon National, Commi National Commission on Law Enforcement and Social Justice don't get fooled by this one, it's a very fun name, but uh, it's a really bad uh, group. Religious Technology Center. Then you get Sterling Management Systems. The Way to Happiness Foundation. And World Institute of Sci uh, Scientology Enterprises. And they have uh, three publishing, uh, two publishing uh, uh, groups, New Era Publications International, or, excuse me, New Era Publications, International Bridge Publications, Inc. Now, I'm not going to go through the publications because there's stupid uh, reasons to go uh, through it. Now, when I uh, get through with this, I want you to know, am I using the Christian side as a uh, attack, uh, as a, excuse me, a, a baseline, is only because those are the most thorough uh, de uh, defining sources that I could find that don't tie directly in to the anti-Scientology uh, groups uh, that are actively anti.